as you can see, we have a litter robot three, and it's the connect, which means it's got the Wi-Fi on it. So we'll open it up and check it out. Oh wow, those stairs are bigger than what the videos portray. That's the, that's the stairs. <laughs> that's pretty big. It doesn't, doesn't look big in other videos, but when you look at it in person, that's, that's pretty dang big. Nice little bag. Let's go power supply. I'm dropping the windows there, the daughter's like Hey, let me put the knife up before I cut myself. Wow, so I thought this box was big because it had the steps in it, but man, this sucker really is big. Really big. in the box. That's pretty thick. In the uh, other videos, it looks like it's thin and cheap. That's pretty thick. Turn the light on. Yeah. That I hope that handles claws. That looks kind of like a 
feels kind of like a an inner tube like like they bought someone's used tires and help make this <laughs> pretty sticky though that's the inside of it pull that out and see it's already got a bag in there and it comes with bags I probably won't be using these I probably will be using uh, store bags that you get from the stores and why not save them and then you don't have to buy these things but hey it's pretty neat and it's got the uh, it's supposed to hold the smell I'm guessing but they usually don't and it's pretty big all right so yeah this sucker it's pretty big so let me go get the old ones out and replace it with this and go from there so this is what the little robot connect 3 is replacing these are actually good litter boxes this is from simply safe and uh, what happens is the bowl spins around and as it comes down to here you got two sets of two sets of I guess you call them fingers one are stationary they don't move the other one moves it goes up like this and then as it's spinning it's coming up and it's picking it up and it's moving it forward and it's dropping down and as it drops down the litter will fall on these teeth that are stationary and as it comes back up it moves it even further further forward and as it goes forward and it keeps coming towards the end it dumps into these buckets where you can put like get your store uh, plastic bags and put in there really neat only problem is these little I'm pretty sure they came from China but these Chinese motors they go out quick so your litter can get into these teeth and jam it up because there's these don't produce enough strength so what happens is you hear go 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 and it's grinding and it ends up making powder out of your your clay and so you just get dust and then as the, the teeth are trying to move and it's putting a lot of pressure on the motor so the motor eventually dies but good thing is these motors are really cheap so you can replace them um, if you need to they're not really expensive 20 something bucks and they, they last about six months to year over year depending depending on your luck this is a good starter one if you're just now getting into electronic cat boxes. So um, I'm able to upgrade, which is a good thing. So, but that's that one, and that's what we're going to use the litter robot to replace these with. So we got it all set up, and I've had it working for about a week. And the only issue that I've I've seen with this is that you're gonna need a carpet or a rug or something, like an outdoor rug that's at least twice the size of the the cat box, at least twice the size, at least twice wide and, and twice long. Because you're still gonna get cat litter all over the place, but you're gonna do that with any other cat box. I mean, it's just gonna get stuck in their paws and as, as they start walking, it's gonna come loose. So, I mean, if, if you don't mind, if you got like an oleum four tile, you can just sweep it up and no no big deal. But this cat box is pretty awesome. It saves me because I have pulmonary issues, COPD and asthma. And I'm on the uh shot that's once a month, Nuvala, which means you pretty much have bad <laughs> bad pulmonary issues. Um so this saves me because I don't really have to um smell the cat litter. Really, when I only come in here and I smell it. It just smells like you've opened up a 
fresh thing of the cat litter, and that's really pretty much all you're smelling. But this thing is is pretty awesome. Here, let me hit hit a cycle and show you really how it works, and then here, let's see, cycle. Now, if you see those that line right there, that's where he t tells you where you have to fill it up to, or don't, actually, you don't have to fill it up that high. Just don't fill it up past that. Yeah, this thing, this thing saved me from having to get rid of my cats because of my pulmonary issues. Now, I will say, I was kind of hoping that I was able to recycle the store bags that you get, the plastic bags. But the the litter pan is just too big, and they, and they don't fit. But you can go like I did. You can just go and get the uh, really cheap garbage bags. That's what I use, or have been using. But yeah, like I said, I'm 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 pretty impressed. It is well worth the money for me anyway. I mean, is it it definitely saves saves my breathing. I did have one cat that was skeptical about it and because I was too hasty and got rid of the two other litter boxes he didn't have anywhere else he he felt comfortable enough to go so he, he pooped on the floor a couple of times even though i put his uh, trash in here to give him the scent he was still just not it was new and it wasn't really the noise that questioned him questioned him it was because the the two other cat boxes that i have are are electronic and and they make noise, not kind of like this, but. And there you have it. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this cat box. It is definitely a, definitely a lifesaver for me. I don't have to get rid of my cats. I shouldn't have cats, but hey, you know, you know how it is. <laughs> You're not going to get rid of them for anything. Some people would, but not me. But yeah, that's the only issue I find is, is onboarding that app. And the litter's still spreading all over the floor. So I'm just going to get me like a, a an outdoor carpet that's twice as wide and twice as long as this. And I'm pretty sure that'll take care of it. Because it's not really tracking anywhere else, but around in this little area right here. So... But yeah, the app, the only thing that I use the app for is to let me know when the, the pan is full. Because once the pan is full, it's no longer going to recycle or cycle. And because I live in the size house I do, I rarely come in this area. So it lets me know when I need to come in here or someone come in here and change the pan. So that's really the only thing I use the app for. And it's probably the only thing it's really good for anyway, but... It helps me out. I mean, if you live in a little bitty apartment and you're always in that room every day, you're going to know. But for me and in my size home, it's I'm rarely in here. So if if I uh, need to change the litter box and it's full, it'll be an icon on my phone. It'll show up like a like say I got a text message or something like that. It'll give me a notification. I just click on it and it lets me know that it's full. So that that saves me. Otherwise, I'd be sitting here a week will go by and I ain't changed it or remembered to change it and it hasn't cycled and it just, it'll just end up being built up and everything. But yeah, I definitely love this. It is I would definitely recommend this. This thing is, unless after a while the motors get weak, like the last ones I I had, and you had to keep buying new motors. But, and I will tell you this, the guy that um, I was talking to on customer service, I was explaining 
to him about my the litter boxes that, re, that this replaced. That I had to keep changing the motor every three to six months or something like that. And he said, ever since he's worked there, he's only had to rescind. He's only had to send one replacement part the whole entire time. So obviously, it's pretty reliable. Unless he was lying, and I don't think he was. I don't think he was lying, but we'll see. So far, so good, guys. I definitely would. Definitely would get get you one of these. So if you'd like, I, please subscribe to this because things that I review. I give back to the community, so I got a Facebook page, and everything things that I review, I put on there, and I have people put it in a drawing for people to have a chance to win. So please like and subscribe this, and and help my community out. I'm sure they'd greatly appreciate it. Now I don't know if I would uh, put this put this on the chance to win because I'm gonna keep this sucker unless I come up with an extra money to buy me a replacement then yeah it, i still think it'd be too nasty to to get to hand out a put our put a new uh, or an old used litter box for a drawing but you never know some people buy the weirdest things or would take the weirdest things as long as it's free so yeah go ahead like subscribe and catch you on the next review thanks